Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna help you change your financial future. I'm gonna show you how to get out of debt and stay out of debt for good, no matter what type of debt you've managed to get yourself into. I'm gonna show you how to save money. I'm gonna show you how to save up for things in particular, like holidays and cars. I'm gonna show you how to use debt to your advantage. I'm going to show you how to build up an investment portfolio and how to build up passive income streams. I may even show you how to retire early. And I promise you, I'm not going to sell you anything. There's no pyramid marketing schemes involved. There's no memberships. There's no joining fees. Everything is free. This is pure financial motivation and education purely for your benefit. And along the way, I'm really hoping that you will also learn how to give back to charity. Now, what I'm talking about is the $1,000 project. If you don't know what the $1,000 project is, it's where you take one really big financial goal of yours and break it down into bite-sized mini achievable goals so that you succeed and make serious progression in your financial achievement. Now, I created the $1,000 project and I've done it twice now. Round one went for 12 months and I saved and invested $32,000 and none of that money came out of my salary or my savings. These were things that I created for myself to earn extra money and save extra money and make extra money. It was incredible. And round two, which just finished, went for 13 months and I saved and invested $36,000. Now, both rounds, I put all the money into a share portfolio so that it could st my money could start working for me. It started paying me back income through dividends. You can use the $1,000 project however you like. You can use the $1,000 project to get out of credit card debt. You can use it to get out of student debt. You could use it to save up for something particular like a holiday. You may even use the money to prepare for a baby and the upcoming expenses. You may also want to use it for saving up for your deposit on your first home. You may also want to use it to save up for an educational expense. You may even, like myself, want to build long-term passive income stream because financial independence is something that really appeals to you. The point is you decide what you want the $1,000 project to be. This is your journey. This is your destination to where you want to end up. So make sure you pick something that's really important and valuable to you. All right, so you're on board now with the $1,000 project. Get ready because this is going to be exciting and addictive. I want you to follow these really simple steps and feel your financial future change immediately. Step number one is to open a separate, dedicated savings account for the $1,000 project and nickname it the $1,000 project. Now, the reason why having a separate account is so important is it means that all the money that you earn and make for this particular goal is only in that account. There is no temptation or distraction to spend that money. There are no cheeky withdrawals to pay for something that is not related to your goal. Also, by nicknaming it, you are giving that account in direction, intention, and purpose. It reminds you as to what you're working towards. Step number two is to set your goal. It should be just one goal and it should be really simple. Now, if you are in debt and you also want to learn about investing and saving and doing things like that, I would probably suggest you prioritize getting out of debt first. And I will link a video in the description box below that explains why. Do yourself a massive favor. Make this as easy as possible to succeed and give yourself one goal. Make sure it's really simple, it's quantifiable, and it has a deadline. So for example, my uh, goal for the $1,000 project was to build up a passive income stream of $4,000 a year by November 2000. 2017. Very easy. That was the goal, as simple as that. So your goal might be to pay off your $10,000 credit card by February 2018. Whatever the goal, it needs to make sure it means something to you. You need to feel excited about that goal and also feel the benefits you will get once you achieve that goal. The goal needs to elevate you, make you feel excited and passionate and really serious about changing your financial future. Step number three is to brainstorm. Now, when I was doing the thousand dollar project, I came up with all sorts of weird and wonderful, crazy ideas. And I, when I do my Skype consultations with people around the world, they tell me what they're doing for the thousand dollar project. And it's amazing. I know people who house sit. I know people who walk dogs for extra money. I even myself did lots of market research where I tried like crackers and talked about washing powders and detergents. I worked on the weekends to do extra things. I sold so many things on eBay. I rented my house out through Airbnb. 
I took my lunch to work to save money. Um, I had quiet weekends where I just stayed at home instead of going out spending money in expensive restaurants or bars. It doesn't matter what you do or how you earn that money or save that money. You've got, it's got to sit within your boundary and your threshold. And of course, it's not going to, you don't want to like flog yourself because you need to be, have it be supercharged with energy to make the thousand dollar project work. So make sure you respect yourself, make sure you also nurture yourself and give your moments to, you know, to recharge but make sure that you come up with as many creative ideas as possible because you never know where the best one might come. And also make sure that you, when you're doing the brainstorming, brainstorm with other people because I can't tell you how many people have given me ideas to come up with money for the thousand dollar project. So brainstorm as many ideas as possible as to how you can save money and how you could earn extra money. Step number four is action and attitude. Now cut the crap, get into action today. Not tomorrow, today. Today is in right this moment. You have drawn a line in the sand, you are changing your financial future and you have no time for any pathetic excuses. Your headspace is so switched on and focused towards achieving that goal. You understand that energy is contagious. You need to be operating in a, from a higher vibration level. And that is why that goal needs to be so important to you. And to help make sure that you stay with that very positive and very powerful attitude, focus on the feelings, the feelings of what it's going to like when you've achieved that goal. That feeling of being proud and knowing that you just paid off your credit card. That feeling of seeing all that money sitting in your savings account. That feeling of knowing that you're going to go and buy your dream home. That feeling of knowing that you have no more student debt and every single money you now, every single dollar that you now earn is going purely to stay with you in your savings account or even be invested. I want you to focus on the feeling of success. Step number five is to review. I want you to review how far you've come. I want you to regularly check in with yourself and see the progress you're making because the progress is what's going to help you stay committed, determined, and focused. You are going to see that all this hard work is actually paying off. There is light at that end of the tunnel. You are making amazing achievement. This is real. You're actually achieving your goal. You are realizing how capable you are. Now, when you review yourself, I want you to look at it from an efficiency perspective. I want you to be a bit of an entrepreneur, a bit of a businessman. Look at the things that are working really well for you. Look at the ways that you're only able to earn maximum amount of money or maximum amount of savings without too much effort. You need to make sure that you have that high vibration level, which means not obviously destroying yourself or being mean to yourself or punishing yourself by being mean and saving money. You need to look at what is working for you, tweak the strategy so that the strategy to earn as much money and save as much money is as efficient and fine tuned as possible. Step number six is pit stops. Coming back to that whole important part of self love and self respect. We are humans. We are not robots or machines. We have feelings, we get happy, we get sad, we get tired, we get emotional. You need to respect yourself and understand when you hit a bit of a threshold, you may need to recharge yourself and that is perfectly fine. Just make sure that that, that recharge doesn't take too long. It quickly recharges you and then get back on it. And then the final step, step number seven is evolve. As you achieve that one goal that you set for yourself at the, with the, when you started the thousand dollar project, I want you to realize you have raised your bar and realize you are really powerful and really capable of now doing something even bigger and better. So when you've achieved that goal and when you tick it off, feel really good, go and reward yourself, have that pit stop. But then I want you to set a new goal, a little bit harder, a little bit bigger. I want you to dare to dream bigger and bolder. And I want you to put all that power, all that energy, all that new wisdom that you've gained in financial education and go for the next goal. I want you to do round two of the thousand dollar project. Use the thousand dollar project to achieve your financial dreams. Now I have done this personally and it is addictive. When I have stopped in between the rounds of the thousand dollar project, I have really missed it. I've appreciated a break for a short period of time, but then I've got back on it. So I want everyone to go to the Sugar Mama website, subscribe to the website so I can keep you constantly motivated and educated and inspired and make sure you subscribe to this channel so I can constantly update you on ideas, inspiration, um, strategies to help build your own financial wealth, save, invest, get out of debt, retire early, be financially free. Get on board everyone.